So in this video, we want to get, uh, talk about the arrays and what is the difference between get a reference and get a copy. For showing you, let's just create an array in here of type of float, for example. I want to call it my variable, right? Or whatever you want to call it. So inside this variable, because it is a single, you can store just one value. That's it. But if you want to store multiple float inside this variable, we can change it to array. And what is important inside the array is the index. So if we create some inputs in here, you can see index 0 will give us 0, index 1 will give us 0, index 2 will give us 0, everything give us 0 because we ch didn't change the values in here. So for example, for index 0, I want to 2.5. And for index 1, I want to give 3.7 for example for index 2 i want to give 6.7 for the index 3 i want to give 10.2 for index 4 8.9 or whatever just some values right no i want to debug something in here keyboard debug keyboard right so for x one for x debug keyboard one for y debug key and one for z so we have three of these i want to explain to you everything so in, when we hit x what i want to do i want to get the variable get the variable and get a copy this time get a copy of index zero right and print it on a screen so let's just put this over here so whenever we hit x on our keyboard it should show us 2.5 because index 0 of this array is 2.5 so let's just run our game if i hit x you can see it's showing 2.5 no let's just see the get a reference so get reference connected over here again so if i hit x no again it's showing us 2.5 so if you want to use a variable and you don't want to change that variable you can use get a copy or get a reference if you don't want to change it doesn't matter which one you want to use but recommended is to use reference because it's faster and more optimized so for showing or using a variable just use a get a reference both of them will work the same so there is no difference in that no with the debug key y, I want to get our variable. And this time, again, we want to get a copy, okay? Get a copy of the index 0. And I want to increment it by plus plus, increment float. It will add 1 to it. Whenever we hit y on our keyboard, it should add 1 to this, right? And this is get copy. What will happen? Let me compile and run. If I hit X, you can see it's showing us 2.5. And if I hit Y, I'm hitting it a lot. And after I hit X, again, it's showing us 2.5. Let me add a printer string in here. I want to say get copy incremented, right? Get copy incremented. So whenever I hit why on my keyboard it will add one to the copy that we create of that array right but after that if you want to show the value that is inside that array if i hit x it's showing us 2.5 so the value inside this array is not changed the copy of that value is changed no let's just see the get reference in here let's just get the variable first and get a reference and this time let's just increment it again with the z key z key on our keyboard i want to copy these and i want to say get ref incremented right so no let's just see the difference in here if i hit x it's 2.5 right if i hit z what will happen it will change whatever that is inside that array if I hit X now, you can see it is 3.5. Again, X 3.5. If I hit Z, it will increment the value that is inside that array. It will actually change in the value that is inside that array. And now if I hit X, it's 4.5. So with the getter reference, if we do something with it, it will be stored in the arrays. But if we get a copy of that array and we do something with it, 
the original values won't change. Let me explain it one more time. If we have an array and we get a reference off of that and we change that, it will be changed inside the array itself. But if we have an array and we get a copy of that and we change something with it, it won't be affected. The array won't be affected because it is just a copy of that array. That's it.